Question 3. A company sells boxes to factories. Fred buys boxes. The boxes are sold in packs of 1,000. Each pack costs £193.86. Fred orders three packs of boxes. He gets a discount on his total order. Work out the total cost of the order after the discount. So there's a lot of useless information here. We don't really care that they're sold in packs of a thousand because he's just buying three packs of boxes. So if a pack costs £193.86, he's ordered three of them, then the total cost before discounts is going to be £193.86 multiplied by three. Again, because it's a calculator paper, uh, at least we can just type this into a calculator and work it out very quickly, giving us a cost of £581.58. pence, And that's the total cost for three boxes. Now, because his total order is over £401, it means we're going to get a 15% discount. Just identifying that alone would give us a mark. So potentially already by doing this we've got two marks. Now we just need to work out what a 15% discount is. There's two, well there's many ways of doing this actually, two very easy ways. Personally I'm going to go with a single decimal multiplication. At a 15% discount it means we have 85% of the value left over. So to work out 85% of this we will multiply it by 0 0.85. That will have taken off 15%. Whatever number comes out here will be our final value. Multiply by 0 0.85, giving us a cost of £494. Now we can't have 0 0.343, so we would round this down in this situation you could possibly be forgiven for rounding it up.